post process technique of the Maxin modeling how we can process the findings uh, look here uh, this is the uh, Maxin output uh, you can see here uh, this is the um, HTML file uh, you can see here the average of the tenth run this is the jackknife uh, we need the only two files here the one is the uh, tiger ascii average dot ASC. Uh, this file is showing the future distribution of the tiger and the tiger avg dot asc this is the current this file is showing the current distribution of the tiger and then uh, we are going to the p process here we just upload the one file model output and this one then upload the tiger ascii.avg tiger ascii.avg.asc add this file uh, this is the unknown sp spatial reference file then give define the projection we should define the original projection this is the WGS 1984 this projection is the projection before the uh, this projection is the pro projection of the environmental layers before the modeling then ok Uh, we should classify this uh, file uh, therefore we need the integer uh, therefore uh, we need to calculate uh, the raster for example we need to multiply it by some values for example then raster calculator raster calculator this file double click into ten thousands one two three four then save it somewhere i am saving here gis analysis and this folder here tiger tiger one two ten thousand dot tif then ok yeah then we should convert it into the integer int int this then tiger int tiger okay in the previous video we already calculated the threshold uh, then we should use that threshold to classify the uh, this file here you can see 
data analysis, accuracy assessment, operation, and this threshold, this average threshold, 0 0.340. We should use this threshold to classify this. Then reclassify this C L A S S I E F Y reclassify. Then input raster is the integer. The values classify. First of all, we need uh, select only two because we need only two uh, class. One is the suitable and other is the unsuitable. Then I uh, convert it into the manual. Then uh, we should understand here our threshold is the 0 0.34 uh, and we, um, we multiplied this file into the 10,000. Then we also multi we should also multiply the threshold by the 10,000. Then this threshold uh, will be the 3400. And okay and where we should uh, keep it here the tiger reclass tiger tiger reclass dot tif save then okay now oh, now it is reclassed then open attribute to the table the pixel which have have the two value two these are the suitable habitats then select it and then type here raster to polygon raster to polygon this is the raster to polygon. The input raster is the tiger reclass. Value. Uh, the output is the tiger habitat. The save. The save. Yeah, this is the tiger habitat. We can only take the others. Yeah, this is the tiger habitat. Then we should calculate the area of the tiger habitat. Then type here. Then we should project it into the projected coordinate system. Just type here project. Then select the tiger habitat. Uh, then the tiger habitat. Then we are going to give the 44N projection. Save. The output coordinate system is the WDS1984 UTM zone 44N. Okay. Then click here. Okay. Okay, then here open attribute table, then click here, then add field, type here area, the type just like the double, then okay. Then uh, the keep here arrow, the just looking like this click then calculate geometry then yes in the area we need area in the square kilometer then okay yes it's the calculating then again you can select everything this and just statistics and the sum the sum is the area total area so 
in the tutorial area. Then you can copy it and you can paste here. You can paste here. This scenario is the one, one, two, six. That's done. Don't forget to subscribe the channel for the more videos. Thank you very much.